Wait, hopefully this frees up some of my, uh... Yeah, because here's the thing. I figured out what was breaking it. My CPU has been at 80% because of the Marvel game. So, yeah. That should cool it down a little bit. Anyways, welcome everybody to another episode of Doom Eternal. If you don't remember last time, we blew the fuck up the surface of Mars with the big fucking gun. And we had a fucking time and a half with it. Oh, my, my thing froze for a second, okay, because I was turning down my camera thing. Anyway, so today we are currently taking off from where we were before, which was on the surface of Mars itself. Hello, Mars. But anyway, yeah, we're just going to pick up from where we were. Hopefully, nothing gets in the way of streaming the full two hours today. Other than that, let's hope for some success and getting some new people, shall we? Alright, anyways. Mars, 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 Mars. Piece of paper. I love paper. The Lost City of Hebeth. Okay, there's the image. Pretty cool image, to be fair. Okay, calm down. <coughs> Amidst the long and enduring history of sentinel civilization, there are moments in antiquity that have become buried in time. Forgotten chapters that remain concealed in sentinel historians, waiting to be unearthed. The fallen city of Abeth is one such tale, all but forgotten to the tomes of legacies past. Once a prosperous port city, a proud, gleaming marker of the conquest of the distant tribe of Bethian clansmen of the Outer Worlds, Hebeth bridged the disparate sentinel cities with the ingenious design of the Slipgate invention. But it was not meant to last, and among those cities lost in the crusades of sentinel past was Hebeth. Now little more than a smoldering ruin, swallowed by the quaking surface of a once habitable Mars. Okay, that's kind of cool. Anyway, what? Hey, Jackson, welcome. Anyway, random question. Do you know the song Beth by Kiss? I do not know Beth by Kiss. I do not listen to Kiss in general. Ah, shit. Uh. Okay, well, straight off the bat, we're dealing with an empowered bitch. Hello. Ow. See? Oh, God. I, di I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. I didn't realize you were a big guy. Holy moly. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, this is- Ah! Hello. How are you? No. 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 I'm not fucking with you guys. Holy shit, this is- Oh no! This is harder than I expected, what the fuck? Okay, right. Who am I dealing with right now? I actually don't know. Oh god. What would be the best weapon- Okay, wait. Okay, here we go. Fire! Oh, shit. There we go. Empowered bitch sounds like another one. Hold on. Oh, God. Bum, bum. I forgot I made Doomkai purple last stream. Ow. Ow. Fuck off. Fuck off. There we go. Armor. That's what I need. Okay. Excuse me. Bum 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 Hello, how are you? Don't mind me, just your friendly neighborhood psychopath. You are fucking dead. Haha! Nice. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. You're not fucking teleporting to my watch, you bitch. Hello. Bye bye. All right, who else wants a piece of bullet? Lead? Bullets are lead, right? I'm pretty sure they're lead. Oh fuck, I missed. Ah. Excuse me. I I missed. Oh fuck, another one. Okay, here we go. Come on, come on. There we go. God, I love the machine gun. It makes things so easy. Hello. Eh. Oh shit. Shit balls. Hold on. Oh. Oh god. Please, please stop. Sir, please. Please. Oh god. I am legit out of armor. This, that's, that's not good. Excuse me. Okay, that might have been an overreaction to be fair, but still. Holy moly, that's a lot of them. Alright, come on. There we go. 
Oh god. Uh, there we go. Got that guy a bit. Oh god. Hold. Oh, I'm so confused. What the fuck is going on? Like, I'm not lying. I'm legit confused on where the enemy is and who's not the enemy. <laughs> Hold on. Wait, no. Why am I saying who's not the enemy? Everyone's the enemy. Please, please stop. Ow. Ow. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, and I'm. Oh, okay. Good thing I had an extra life then. Bye bye. Oh god, I'm 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 just lost. There's too much information. Please, just just die for me. Uh, wait. No, no, no. I just noticed there's a one up there. Oh. Excuse me. Excuse me. Just uh, I I don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm doing something. It's something. So, uh, everyone happy to be back to the regular st stream schedule then? Excuse me. There you go. Oh god, oh god. Yeah, everyone happy to be back to the regular stream schedule? A lot of things screwed it up over the last few days, last few weeks even. But hey, now it's back. Oh. Yes, one up. Hello. Okay, that was an overreaction, I'll admit. I'm not happy, but I like the schedule. Fair enough. There we go, got some armor again. Yeah. Okay, I'm getting a better grasp of what the hell's going on now. Up. Oh. Heal me! Where is the strong guy in a chair? Actually, wait, you know what I just realized? I forgot again. I bloody forgot again. There we go. How do I keep forgetting to turn the game sound on? Where'd he go? Hello! Excuse me, just uh... Let me get a few shots off at you. It's not too cool. Ow, ow, oh, 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 oh crap, oh crap. Okay, he stole all of my health. That's not very nice of him. To be honest, you know, could have been better about that. Okay, I need a weak guy. Weak, weak. There he is. Hello. Thank you for the ammo that was conveniently in your guts. And thank you for the help. Where are you? Hey. Hey. Stop. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Uh. Oh god. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, shit. Okay, who, who, who's what? Where's who? Bye bye. Okay. Uh, I, I think I lived. Anyway, what do you call a wheelchair with flaming wheels? I do not know. What do you call a free a wheelchair with flaming wheels? Oh no! <laughs> As the door opens, I fly off. Oh, that is, that is perfect timing. I heard weed guy, not weak guy. I was like, whoa, Doomslayer or Pothead. Well, okay. Maybe I said that, you don't know. I, I, could, I could be drugs. Well, that's not good. Excuse me. Could, could you not? No, could, could you not, please? Thank you. Oh, oh god! I, ah. Oh, oh, jeez! Oh, jeez! Oh, jeez! Oh, jeez! Oh, jeez! Oh, jeez! Help! I died. <laughs> well, I didn't go well. Well, mine could have gone better. There we go. Excuse me. Sorry, I'm just using the very trusty method of shoot everyone with a fucking machine gun. Okay. Don't worry, I'm ready to kill a Hell Priest. Teleport me, bitch! Let's get out of this. Alrighty. I did not get any of the actual things needed. Oh yeah. 
Let, let, let's just go. There's no reason to hold on that, is there? But again, by the way, just because we are... It is this month, so we got to make sure we're definitely above the average that we need, okay? Do do invite anyone you think might want might like this, because it would it, it'd really help, because we do need... This month is like the month to have high viewership. I love it. It just stands out so much. Oh, God. Anyway, so they're still alive. There's still ones that are alive, then. I thought they were all dead. Are they not? Okay, so they're not all dead. Good to know. Hello. Guard the priest. Oh yeah, that does look like a gladiator arena. To be fair, I, I can I can see this devolving into just a random gladiator match for no reason. All right, let's go be gladiators. I am Spartacus and all that shit. A very nice city, though, I will say. A lot of pillars. And what we got? Sentinel Prime. There's the image. <clears throat> the ancient arena is a holy place for the people of Argent Denur. Constructed in the earliest days of their history, this Colosseum serves as a proving ground for trial by combat. Historical records indicate that the Argenta did not jail their own kind. Rather, prisoners and criminals were granted the right to earn their chance to regain honor through victory in the arena. Those who succeeded were given a place to fight in the front lines of the Sentinel Army, to die in service of Argent Denur. This traditional use of the arena has subsided since the assimilation of the Dark Realm. The corrupted priests now allow more violent exchanges, with armed captives pitted against demons for sport. The priests of the Order Diar continue to hold undisputed power on Argent Denur, Spilling the blood of Argent Ascended class will result in the Transgressor's Banishment Asylum. Oh, whoops. Tr banishment. Asylum amongst the Argenta will be denied to any who do not adhere to the rules of engagement. Okay, so basically, fight like your life depends on it, because your life kind of depends on it. Alright. Get me up there. I'm ready. Give me, give me my weapons. What am I fighting with? Oh, another cutscene. Hello! What, what, what is this po- what? What is this POV? Did we get knocked out by something? Valley, just outside the castle walls. He was badly wounded and wearing this. What? Is this an origin or something? Like, is this a backflash? Gut. Huge gut. Kill them. Must kill them all. Hmm. What is he has fight in him yet? In spite of his injuries. Send him to the arena. Let him be judged like the others. Okay, I'm guessing this is backstory. Yeah, okay, so it was the Okay, so it's backstory. What's this? History of the Sentinels, part four. There's the image. Here's the content. <clears throat> Translation from the Ligris Sultagenta, Book of the Kings. In the time of King Novik, as the Algenta secured peace and safety through dimensions across time and space, an outlander came to us. He was not of our world and spoke an ugly tongue. How he first took step upon our land was unknown. Sentinel scouts had found the outlander bloodied, clawed, and near death. Mumbling of impending doom and the forces of darkness, the scent of blood followed him and the gore that stained his armor seemed not entirely his own. By Argenta law, the stranger would be judged in the Colosseum, where he would be given the chance of all who stray from the path to fight for their freedom. We knew not of this stranger. His mind seemed crippled with rage. He dressed in attire not suited for our lands and carried munition of arcane origin. We watched as his will overcame his injuries, and in the blood arena he proved his worth. The Outlander's technique was crude and brutal, but the determination in his charge echoed that of many true-born sentinel. His war cry echoed through the Colosseum, as did the sound of his fury, and the guards cheered his banner. Rip and tear, as they, shout they shouted, as the beast pushed beyond mortal wounds and certain death. <gasps> he would be gifted no rank, no title, 
The survivors in the arena were provided only one reward. The right to earn an honorable death while spreading the blessings of the Micahs to those in need. The Outlander's determination was witness. His ravings documented and through, and through the word of the Order Dayark and the Khan Micah had him brought before her. She set her minions to learning his tongue, for with his ugly words he spoke of lands unseen, creatures born of fire, and a dark place unknown to the queen and her caste. Yet another opportunity to expand the gift of the makers to those in need. I'm guessing that's how the how the demon world got involved in all this, to be honest. No, there's, uh, I don't I don't think there's anything in here, but fucking sp oh jeez. Oh, great, powerful one. Yeah? A sign of truce. For what? Oh, hello. I didn't realize you were there. I was just getting the exploring bonus. Ah, uh, oh, another one. History of the Sentinels, part five. The sequel. All right, let's go. <coughs> Translation from the Ligra Sodagenta, Book of the Kings. On the eve of the Black Star, the Dark Ones came from a world beneath our own. Not through ship nor a familial vessel, but through the fabric of dimensions. Out of swirling, fiery gates came on a horned beast from a timeless realm. First one, then many, crashing raves of evil swelled from the obsidian forest of the Argentian overlands. The Alorum clans from the eastern mountains fell first to the black hordes of devils, and the city of Telorum was slung under the weight of their charge. We sentinels rose to meet the beasts with spear in hand, the might of the holy fleet striking back at the demons. But the dark gates from whence they came gave birth still to even greater hordes. A line of blood was drawn with the fallen of both sides, and the unholy wars began as the time of darkness came upon us. Okay, so yeah, that was right. That was the introduction of the demons to the story. Where, where, am, I, where am I going? One second, I'm just gonna check quickly because those. Okay, nothing there. I was just getting that exploration bonus then. Well, let's see. So we got some arm icon. Grab that. Great. Uh, what else we got? Hello. Is, is... Oh, hello. I know of what you have left behind. Go back to it then. Uh huh. You cannot save them. I they beg to differ. I will admit, I don't actually know what that is. If I go backwards, will it actually happen? I, okay, I don't, I don't think it does. I, I think that's more just, hey, fun little tidbit, you could do this, but the game forces you. Hello? And it's very empty around here. They could at least, like, offer someone to give me a drink. Alright, here we go. History of the Sentinels Part 4. There's the image. Here's the content. <clears throat> Translation from the Ligra Sotagenta, Book of the Kings. Unlike enemies of the past, we could not contain the, dem the demons emergent from the Dark Realm. Their weaponry was not conjured from machine metal, but from the essence of their very being. A dark magic not known to us in our many conquests. Had we grown overconfident, our victory serving to dull our blade as we drank in the glory of our expanding empire? Lost, we knew not how to prevail against this foe. The Micah god stood perplexed, and our engineers and priests scrambled to find the advantage in battle we so desperately needed. Unknown to the enemy, we were pushed to the brink of defeat, and our god stood with us as we worked to find the answer. The Order of the Diag were the first to unlock the mystery of these foul creatures. The priests were able to capture several of the beasts and set about to identify their source of their power. It was then that the essence of the Dark Realm was discovered. Not unholy like our own, this power was the life essence that flowed through their twisted form and, pla and powered their attacks. It could be harnessed to power our own weapons, giving the Argenta the chance to combat the demons on even footing. The priests believed that with greater knowledge of the essence, we could dis- Sorry. We could discover its source and cut it off from the demons to strangle their armies from within, 
allowing us to regain the advantage we required for victory on the battlefield. The Khan Maker gave blessings to our majesty and directed the priests to delve deeper into the mysteries of the Scarlet Elixir from the demonic realm, for she sought only to return balance to our universe. Proper assimilation was required, as hell stood beyond our influence. After great effort, the- oh, the same Doomslayer would dominate Master Chef. Master Chief. I- <laughs> Master Chef. <laughs> now I want to see a cooking show with Doom Guy. What would he even make? Discuss as I read the rest of this. Ahem. After great- oh wait, where was it? Okay, wait. <clears throat> After great effort, the priests discovered more than they had even hoped for. They learned of the true nature of the demonic energy, and how it could strengthen those skilled enough to harness its power. The energy coursing through the malformed bodies of our relentless enemy could be used to end life, or to enhance it. The power to heal, to mend, immortality, knowledge, and enlightened faculties beyond our understanding. With the demon's life force in the skilled hands of the sentinel priest, and under our righteous gaze of the Khan Maker, our people would not only rise to victory over the unholy horde that clawed at our walls, we would move to a higher plateau of existence, ushering in a new era of military science and industrial healing. No sentinel would grow sick, no Micah would need to suffer the transfiguration that they so feared. All would be risen. None could ever oppose our peaceful ways and threaten our world again. True balance over hell and its legions, over space and time, in this world and all others, we would dictate the order. United with the Makers, we all we would find peace eternal. Whew. I feel like I do a good priest. Anyone in agree like I do a good priest preaching something? I feel like I preached that pretty well. While I was there, I didn't notice I had a lot of points there. What did I spend that on again? I legit can't remember. Um... I, I, I legit can't remember. What, what, what's that? What, what, what do I spend this on? There we go. Superheated rounds. Heat blast charge. Yes. There we go. By the way, now we know. If we ever do a game with a priest, I'm gonna be good at the priest. Okay, right. Anyways, where where am, where am I going? Oh, there's. Uh, where is that going? One, one second. Uh, okay, we're going up here. You would definitely make a beef Wellington. And you know what? I bet he uses demon parts as well. Like he doesn't even use beef. It's not even beef. It's just demon Wellington. Secret found. What? 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 What was that secret? I ha I can't tell. Anyway, <laughs> okay, here's the picture. <clears throat> History of the Sentinels, part seven. Wait, is that seven? It's seven. Translation from the Ligra Sultagenta, Book of the Kings. The Khan Maker demanded a tithe of the essence, and driven by her desire, the priests submitted themselves to her will. The Order of the Dayog took counsel with the king, speaking only of the spoiled lands sure to be found through the cleft of their crea in creation, and the opportunity to purge the new invaders from Argentinur. We took the war to their cursed land, pressing through the gates of wizardry. There was one among us who seemed to know the true nature of these foul demons. It was the Outlander, the stranger who had come to us from places unknown. He who had survived in the front lines far longer than any sentinel-born prisoner had before. His passion for battle against the vile horde was evident. His lust for their destruction matching our own. Through Argentinur remained a foreign land to him. His fervor caught the attention of inquisitors of the sentinel, jo of the sentinel guard. Some whispering of a suspected allegiance he held in secret with the demons. Silence in the critics... King Novik deemed him a worthy of selection. The signifiers brought a commission to our king, and it was decided that he be lifted from the common rabble. Though no arena-born prisoner had ever been granted the honor, the knight sentinels broke tradition and deemed the outlander worthy of training. A number of disciples grumbled and chafed at the barbarian present in their ranks, but in the war with the demons all opportunities for even the slightest advantage were to be considered. 
And as they witnessed the stranger spar with their hall masters, they found him in an undying, unrelenting, uncompe unrelenting compatriot. This man was an outsider, friend to none, and yet rose each time he was thrown to the dirt of the circle, battered and bruised, his brow stained with the blood of... Uh, stained with... Oh god, I'm messing that up a bit. <coughs> He rose with grind determination for the chance to face his enemies in armed combat once again. Time passed as the stranger was instructed in the codified mattresses of their order, the ancient lessons of battle and brotherhood taught to all sentinels. He could sense the opportunity before him. Soon, all of hell would feel his wrath once again. Satisfied that he would not be a detriment to their prowess, the Knight Sentinels granted him his wish as they ventured through the Hell Gates with the stranger in tow. They knew no rest, fighting in the unnatural elements and training under the blood moon of night. The stranger suffered exhaustion, wounds and sickness, but asked for no aid and was offered none. Three times the Knight Sentinels ventured into the gate and back, and upon every return the stranger strode more capable than before. His gait locked in step with the march of the sentinels, a, disi a, 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 a disciplined, oh god, a disciplined and now controlled lust for demon blood ever present. The passing of years and the numerous battles with the devil indentured the stranger to argent his mightiest warriors, and no longer did they condescend to him as a new blooded construct. For to them, he had become a brother in arms, fought in war, an ally, and a weapon. Oh god, I, I am enjoying reading these. Anyways, what do you call a wheelchair with flaming wheels? Hot wheels. Fair enough, we should get set so many wheel chairs on fire though now. Look on hot wheels. That says you can't ban wheelchairs. I feel like that's going to be a lot of work though, and I don't want to do that. Uh, can you imagine how many wheels there are on wheelchairs worldwide? Like, I don't want to go to all of them. Uh, I feel... This is a hard role to play. Hello? Okay. Cool. I'm gonna kill you anyway. I deny you that chance. Fuck you. Okay, there's definitely secrets. I, I want to explore now because there's definitely secrets around, right? Oh shit! Is- oh wait, is that skip? No, it's not! Part 8! Time for the next chapter already! Okay, here's the image. I will say, I do, I do enjoy that there's the occasional image that's just- It's not gamey or anything, it's just legit just a regular drawing. Anyway. <coughs> History of the Sentinels, Part 8. Translation from the Ligra Sotagenta, Book of the Kings. As we warred with the beasts, the Argenta society grew. Under the watchful eye of the Micas, and through the endless power of the essence. While our generals were consumed with the unholy war, our culture was marked by the beautiful potion the enemy had provided us, the sweet elixir. It brought us immeasurable capacity and empowered us to reach further into the dimensions once thought to be beyond our grasp. Under the direction of the Micah gods and the engineering of our high priests, our weapons blazed and our war machines stormed. The throngs of the populace drank deeply from the well of energy unveiled by the priests, but we of the Night Sentinels took no part in their abundance. Some among us whispered accusations and warnings against this manner of progress, but they were quelled, as it was not our role to dictate the future of our people, only to defend it. I don't like them, there's too many letters. That is true, a lot of letters. You can't pick that up, God damn it. Okay, right, where, where else am I going? I just want to make sure I get everything is the problem. There we go. I didn't get that last time. I thought I did. Meh. Okay, right T.O. then. Hello? Is there not even a butler here? I, I would like to get a drink. You know, it would be nice if you could offer your coat. Like, to take my coat. You know, that seems pretty reasonable since I'm a guest of honor. Hello, thank you, Mr. Ghost, for this dear room. I'm probably not going to spend it for a while. 
Oh, neat, one up. Ba doo be doo be doo ba doo be doo be doo ba doo be. I just, I just want to admire the view and say, this just looks beautiful. But can I say something? Look at that and tell me that's not just straight up the planet from fucking Star Wars in Episode One. Tell me it's not. Look at that. Look at it. What? You you look at that planet. And you tell me. That's not just Naboo. It's fucking Naboo, mate. They've stolen. Well, not stolen, really. I mean, to be fair, it's... Just, I mean, eh. But it does look like... It does look like Naboo, to be fair. Okay, right. Well, what, what did I get? Hold on. Codex. Part 10... I swear, we've had, what, like, two fights? And a ton of this is just now reading. Oh! That looks like Goblin Slayer now, the helmet. Anyway. <coughs> History of the Sentinels, Part 9. Translation from the Liga Sultagenta, Book of the Kings. As the Black Star ascended to its zenith, King Novrik Sacrilent... Sac... Okay, you know what? I fucked that up. <coughs> We're gonna retry that. As the Black Star ascended to its zenith, King Novik sat restless on his throne as a howling darkness began to assemble. Just beyond the mountain rise to the east, the blight came upon us in droves, flooding forth from the Hellgate with merciless fury. They brought with them a monstrous titan, the Dreadnought, a beast to rival the stature and menace of even the mightiest ancestral. The grotesque giant laid waste to all before him, crushing all in his path. This was a total demonic assault, striking at the heart of Argent de Nour as never before. How was it that Behemoth could pass through the demonic gate without warning? We would never know, though the Sentinels believed re treason was at play. Caught off guard, the sentinel scrambled late in defiance of the titan and his horde, and with his coming to the holy city of Tarasnabad, prepared for judgment. With the onslaught of the demons massed in the sprawling shadow of the abhorrent fiend, the city shook to its foundation. None were spared, save those that fled north. The vile swarm ransacked our temples and palaces, burning our towers and feasting on the souls of our clergy. Yet the night sentinels rallied and held fast against the demons. Though they were pushed back and corralled to the blood arena, as the dark of night descended, their swords remained potent and shred the enemy multi multitude with abandon. Amidst the unyielding ranks of the sentinels, when all other apprentices had fallen in battle, stood the outlander. Rip and tear, he roared, ferocious in battle. This remaining conscripts of the arena stood in awe as they witnessed the beast who had once raged their very cells, now armoured alongside his shoulders of his sentinel brethren. He had risen where none other had before, a true-born sentinel fighter, the very beast among them. But though the swarm fell through their assault, the titan remained invincible, for none could tame the behemoth alone. In the hours before dawn, as the night sentinels weathered the relentless assault, the outlander held his ground at the foot of the greeting wall in the northern bend of the castle. Seeing his unending vigor, Samur, Chancellor of the Mother God, hurried to the outlander away under veil of secrecy and, for reason unknown, submitted him to a right untold. This was heresy, for Samura received no consent from the Khan Maker, nor did he receive her counsel. In the Chapel of Purity, the Outlander submitted himself to the Divine Machine. There, Samur Maker, the Seraphim known to us only as the aid to the Mother God, blessed the Outlander with fierce speed and power to match his will. It was the method by which the transfusion took place that was most uncertain to us. For we were of the knowledge that the Mica device bestowed onto the Argenta so many generations ago was to be used by the priests only to find the impurity among us. How could it be that the device that was meant to cool the sentinel breed of its, contain of its contaminants could, give could then be used to purify the outlander's body and give rise to the one who would lead us into battle henceforth? What rose from the holy coffin on that fateful day was not the impure abomination the Covenant warned us of. 
the hero within would come to be known only as the Great Slayer. The Time Walker. The warrior Khan whose fire sword would blaze forth a path for the just and cut through the demonic horde with a vengeance that only a god king could summon. He rose unbroken by the ritual, his eyes burning with the mica magic. He took the crucible in his hand, and wraith fire leapt forth from the blade, as only it will when hauled by a true sentinel warrior king. In our darkest hour, the slayer had been chosen. Defying tradition, our most sacred laws, and the will of the great Khan herself, a stranger to our land had been blessed with the celestial might. Oh god, that hurt my throat. Oh, that went too grand. Anyway, fun fact, the actor who played Doomguy in the campaign also played... Oh my god. That is an amazing fact. I love that. Doomguy, Goblin Slayer, same guy. Anyway, let's go ahead and ride the elevator up. What the fuck is that? What the fuck? Uh, there we go. Oh god damn it! What the hell is that noise? Okay, you know what? Let's just we got another reading, I think. This dead grav. Okay, let's see. Uh, Vegadian day of grav. Deor Grav remains the most powerful of the Hell Priests amongst the people of Argentinur. Frequently visiting his ancient homeworld to lord over the populace, arrogant and pompous, Grav calls for blood sports in the arena to entertain the fallen citizens of Fence Sentinel Prime. Since the demonic invasion of Earth began, he has operated on the planet's surface along with his fellow Hell Priests to direct Hell's forces. But after the deaths of Deorg Nilox and Deorg Grenach, he has fled to the safety of the arena. It was Deor Grav who facilitated the torment and eventual betrayal of Sentinel Commander Valen, taking the keys of the sepul se sepulcher? Sepul sepulcher. sepulcher of elements and opening the vault of the sleeping wraiths. The ancient creatures were abducted, transported to hell, and tortured to siphon away their power. He used the heart of Valen's son to animate the Icon of Sin, a titan still spoken of in legend throughout Argent the Nur. Let me guess, I'm gonna fight the Titan of Sin. God damn it. What is that noise? Oh! Oh, that makes sense. What? Oh, these ones are empty. Okay, good day. How are you? Good day. Good day, fuck you. Good day, shove your rage up your ass. Good day, kill yourself. Good day, I fucking hate you. Good day, please go fuck yourself. Good day! Uh, go shove those wings as far up that ass as you can so you take some more out. Okay. Also, do the on Oh, I know about that one, I've seen all the art about it. It's great. You know, I'm just gonna make sure there's nothing there. Can't collect that, can't collect that. I can get that, though. Here we go. Oh, it's just a gladiator. Fair enough. <clears throat> in the years following the end of the Golden Age, competing factions of Argent and Ur turned against one another. An insidious influence had beset itself upon the Sentinel people, corrupting its once-held sacred traditions. The Colosseum, once a place of honorable combat where prisoners of Argento were tested for the right to fight on the front lines of the army, has since become a place of blood sport. In violation of Sentinel law, the priests have encaged a demon there, a merciless executioner used to enact judgment of their own decree. The gladiator wielding an accused shield which entombs the tormented soul of his undying master remains undefeated in battle, infamous for the many lives it has claimed. What is one of the best songs ever? What is one of the best songs ever? I'm curious. Oh, cutscene. Hello, can I please enter the arena to kill this bitch so you're in supreme surprise? Who is that? Oh, that must be King Novik, right? Uh, oh, this is the cutscene to when we were fighting there. That's fair. Oh, I love these cuts. I love these flashbacks. They're great. Rip and tear. 
You'll make a fine addition to the front lines. Oh wow, he's not Demons. dead here. Nice. They are everywhere. Must kill them all. Dress his wounds and bring him to Okay, us. so Roy's been crazy being true. About the others he speaks of. Yes, your grace. Oh, hello. You look a lot worse than you used to. If of holy blood is spilled on these grounds, you will lose all sovereignty here. Okay. God, you look so old. Time, time was not nice to that man, to be honest. Could it could have been better for him. Now, come on, bring the demon out. That is one big fucking shield. How the hell am I winning this? Gladiator, when the shield's eyes flash green, the gladiator is about to attack. Shoot him when his eyes are green to stagger him to create an opening. Oh crap, I missed. Okay, so it's these rules again. Okay, I missed. Green, 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 green! Come on! Okay, wait, I need a heavier weapon, wait. Nope, that failed. I am trying. I failed. I missed. Oh god. Okay, right. Hold on. Yeah. Holy moly, this is a lot of guys. Excuse me, can you fuck off please? You're not really helping me in my calls. You're just really- oh wait, I- I just- I okay. can't. There we go. Damn it! Excuse me. Excuse me. Ow! Fuck you! I am not your puppet to be controlled! You think I will listen to you? Wait, eh. Come on. Oh, shit. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Come on. Oh, God. The other guys are really not helping right now. Hey, can you all just fuck off, please? This battle's hard enough as it is, and I just missed a shot. Great. Okay, just cut you to get the ammo. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. So close to death. So close to death. Oh, God. Aha! Oh, oh! No, come on. There you go. Yes! Punch that motherfucker! No, you don't. Aha! Boom! Oh shit, there we go. Fuck you! Nope, you don't get to hit me! I'm just going around in circles! Fuck you, bro! There we go. Boom! You know what? This isn't as bad as I thought it would be. I haven't died on the first turn at least. Oh god. Come on, come on. Green, green! Green! Okay, this this weapon isn't effective in this. Okay. Uh let's just yeah. There we go. Excuse me. Give me some ammo, please. Thank you. Ah. Oh god. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh my god. P please stop. P please. There we go. Got him again. I am surprised I'm doing this without taking like one death. Oh god. Oh god. Yep, that's not gonna work. I need something stronger. Come on, show yourself. There we go. Oh, nearly! He's got a slither of health left. There we go. That's it. Fuck yeah, bro. First try. <coughs> I am the king, motherfucker. Never mind. Apparently he's still alive. What, 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 why, why has he got a second stage? Okay, good, he's not got a shield at least. Oh, now he's double axe. That's not, that's just not good. Okay, without the shield, the gladiator is more aggressive and has a wider variety of attacks. When the gladiator spins one of its flails, it returns attack back to player. When the gladiator's eye flash green, he's about to strike. Aha! 
I am the master of fighting you. Fuck you. No. Please no. No. Oh god. Come on, reveal yourself. Reveal yourself. Aha! You think you can avoid my show? Oh, fuck. Okay, wait. Yeah. Well, yeah. There we go. Come on. Come on. Eat away. Eat away at him. Eat. Oh, sh oh shit. Oh jeez. Well, that didn't work. Oh god. What the fuck? What the fuck? Help! 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 Oh god. Oh shit. 12 health. 12 health. 12 health. Oh god, I wasted that. Okay. Please, please. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, I take it back. You're good. You're good. I, I take back everything I said. Oh shit. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Here we go. Oh god, no. No. Shit. I hate this bit. Oh god. There we go. Oh, come on. Oh, I got so lucky. Boom! Okay, this is effective now at least. So I'll just wait for him to... Bum bum. Come on, come on, come on! Come on! Oh god. Come on. Oh shit. Okay, come on, come on. Nearly. First try. We'll do this first try. No proper deaths. Although technically I did use a 1-up, so that's technically a death. But who cares, right? Who's counting? Oh god. Come on. Ow. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. Come on. Yes! Fuck yes, bro. I'm good. Jump up like a Doom 2016 Cyber Demon boss fight. Bro, if I was jumping rope like that, I'd be jumping rope for like 20 hours. Oh, man. Thank fuck for that one-up. God damn. Ooh. Hello, what are you? I got a thing. This Things are usually good. Nothing. Really? Will be consumed regardless just shoot his head already. Yes! <laughs> right as I said, just shoot his head already. Guys, did you not just see what I did to the giant ass demon? Are you really brave enough to do this? Are you really brave enough? We should leave immediately. <laughs> what even was that coin? We took it and dropped it. Oh, and it's the first thing I got everything on. I know, right? It was perfect timing. Combat, 10 out of 10. Exploration, 10 out of 10. Yeah, I'll go back and try and clip that later. Continue, please. How long have we been streaming? Okay, we're now an hour. Okay, time for the obligatory Twitch shit. But, you know, if you're not already, please do consider following, yada yada. We have a Discord, yada yada. If you don't know what you think would enjoy this, invite them, yada yada yada. Twitch stuff. Let's go. Fortress of Doom time. Hello, Fortress. It's great to be back. The con maker has overloaded your systems. Oh no! Vega has no control over me. Oh no. If you had let the culling continue, the human race you fight to protect would have survived. That is a step. Really though? Really? Icon of sin. He will devour Earth and leave your whole world in ruins. I don't Life wait, what? Was something moving back there? Shall never return. Oh. This will be yet another world you brought to extinction. Hey, what world did I bring to extinction before? I have you know, I am not a known genocider except for the fact that I genocide demons. There's a lot of demons you got in here. Uh, no. I'll have you know, uh, I have this. There we go, problem solved. <laughs> That was, that was, that was fucking easy. <laughs> that was built up like a thread and then it's just like, boom, one shot. God damn. I feel like you're not meant to have that bullet when you go into that, are you? I know you have the demonic crucible. <laughs> In the end, the very power source you sought to eradicate from Earth is now... Fair enough, there was a bit of irony in that, I guess. On Sentinel Prime was a success. The demonic consumption of Earth has been ah, stopped. Yay! 
Only a Slayer's Crucible blade can stop a Titan. I would like get to that. the Sentinel City of Taras Nabad to retrieve your Crucible before it is too late. Without it, the Titan cannot be stopped. Yeah, but it could be that her, her forces are starting to wear thin if she can't keep expanding. Like, they're supposed to have, like, giant reservoirs of things, aren't they? If they're getting stuck, doesn't that suggest that maybe, just maybe, the demons are actually running out of people? What the fuck is that? There's a thing up there. How the fuck do I get up to that? Hold on. Okay, wait, gotta take a look at this. Okay, there's no, like... Yeah. Yeah. Nope, nope, can't go that way. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, can I... I... I can't hop on the railings. How do I get... Oh, the... wait, there's a thing. There is a thing. Above it. So there's something around. Let's see, can I find it? I don't know. First of all, I'm gonna go check what's over here, because there's gonna be something fun. Oh, oh yeah, it's the original... I already got that. I'm not... I'm not getting that again. Where's the other things? Down the floor! Okay, weapon... I don't need that. Ruins would be best. There's a cheat code and there's a target on the upper window. Wait, what? Okay, I'll go back and check it in a second. Did I have two of these? I think I had two of these. I just kind of put that in without checking. Please. Oh, thank fuck, I had, I had four. Okay, we're getting two then. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Bum ba bum ba bum bum ba ra ba bum ra ba ba bum ra ba ba bum 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 ra ba ba bum ra ba ba bum ra ba ba bum 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 getting all of the shit hit 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 at least I hope no one's watching this and not having fun. You're right, other than that, I need to keep going. Do, do, do. Okay, right. Back up I go to see if I can find what you were talking about. Okay, so that's a cheat code and there's a target on the upper window. Upper window. Oh! Wait. What is... What does that do? Oh, oh, okay. Oh. Hello. Hey! Fully upgraded suit. How do I use that? I actually don't know. Um... Uh, legit, how do I use that? I actually want to. That is such a cool thing to include. Or is it like you just upgrade it yourself? I don't really upgrade that. I don't upgrade that. That's fully upgrade. That's not, so may as well. There we go. So, can I use that? You can use them when revisiting missions. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, there's other things here now, and I gotta find those, because you know how I feel about collecting shit. Sometimes, you know, waste a lot of time trying to find these special things. Where are they? Uh, let's see. They are on the floor below this, so I do need to go in here. I think. Yeah, I do. Okay. And then, like... Oh! There we go. Hello! I can't get... Oh god, did I just come down here for another one of these? Hold... Hold on. That can't be it, right? They wouldn't put this all the way over here. Just to make it that. They would, wouldn't they? Now that I think about it. You know what? Fuck this shit. I'm going back. We're continuing the game. Why? Where the fuck am I? That's going down. No, no, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I fucked up. We're going down, lads. <laughs> I didn't mean to. But we are now going down to the lower levels, I guess. Um... There's not even anything down here to collect. Just take, take me back, please. What the? Here we go. Take me back. There we go. 
I like how things red now. It gives a very unique aesthetic. I hope I- I want to use that eventually. Like, please say there's just a mission at the end of the game where it's just like, Kaiju battle, Titan versus giant mecha suit. I would love that. Like, that would just make this game 10 out of 10 for me. Just perfect 10 out of 10. No, no dispute. Oh, wait, where, where am I going? I'm going this way. Here we go. Take me to Earth. Oh, that's a shame. You gotta admit though, that would have been a cool way to end the game. What was that? Okay, here we go! I do love the aesthetic now. It's all switched from blue to red now. It's great. Anyway, Taras Nabad. With the death of her priests, the blood ritual has been broken. The Khan Maika, desperate for a way to consume Earth, is attempting to resurrect the Icon of Sin under her band. What only the Slayer's Crucible Blade can stop the Icon. To retrieve it, you must journey back into your past to the city of Taras Nabad, where your legend began. You never get- yeah, that's a shame. Just, it's just like, imagine if you got to use the mech though, That'd be, that would be awesome. Your crucible is still embedded in the titan that attacked this sentinel city. Okay. Your first battle against the demons in this Ooh. world, where the legend of the Slayer began. Bum, 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 bum. Where am, am I just jumping this? Man, it's a good thing I have jump boosts. Oh, writing! You know what that means! Here's the image. Here's the content. <clears throat> the city of Trastabad was the crown jewel of Argent Donur. For centuries it served as the spiritual heart of the Argent society, home to both the royal family and the central political power. No expense was spared in building of the city. With the bold colonnad, colonnad, colon, colonnaded architecture and towering monuments to the gods and kings resplendent on every avenue. Rural Argenta flocked to Tarasnabad on pilgrimage to the Maker Temples. The city was ground zero of a massive demonic invasion attempt, and although the invasion was thwarted, the attack changed Argenta society forever. Anyway, the Crucible is just a one-shot kill, and there are three chain trages. Tra tra trages? Charges? Oh, uh, he hello. Oh. Shit. Um, no. Please stop. Damn it. Okay, that was wasted to be fair. Okay, right. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me, just to blow up a bit more. I like how everything's now red for me. Like, ev everything I'm shooting is red. Excuse me. There we go. Thank you, demon. Bop. Ah, oh, nice. Mirrors. It's just like that scene from The Mummy. That wasn't what I was meant to do. What What am I meant... Hello? Oh, oh, here we go. <laughs> wait, what? 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 Oh, wait. Oh, okay, okay, wait, no, I see. There we go. Okay, I didn't get it for a second, still. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, excuse me. No. No, 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 screw you. Oh, fuck. Hold on, hold on. Okay, that didn't, that didn't really do anything. I am nearly dead, great to know. I'm just gonna... Excuse me, don't mind me. I'm just doing my job here, you know? Classic Doom things. Ow. Oh, fuck. Fucking blocked it. Okay. What, what can I do against you? What the fuck am I meant to do? Hold on. Yeah. Excuse me. Are you not? I completely forgot how to deal with you as all. Ow. Ow. Oh. Oh. Okay. That was accidental, but you know what works out, I guess. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Holy shit. Please stop. Please. 
Please, please just stop. I missed entirely. God damn it. Dude. Oh god. I've forgotten how to fight this guy. It's really annoying. Please. Help. And I died. Okay. Boom. Okay. Yeah. Nope, that didn't work. How am I... Oh, there we go. That was it. You have to knock him out, right. What? What? God damn it. And the eyes flash green. Oh yeah, eyes flash green. And I missed, obviously. Oh shit. Oh shit. Excuse me. One eyes flash green. There we go. I may have no ammo left, but I killed him. Excuse me. Excuse me. Get me through. There we go. The city would have been lost had it not been for the arrival of the slayer. There's a secret. Ow! Motherfucker! Fuck you! The right secret behind. What would be the best way to go about this? Hey! I got it. Doom 2016. BFG division. Oh yeah. That was an accident. All right. Hello? Is anybody home? I, I know the city was kind of abandoned, but still. This isn't where I'm going. Okay, fair enough. Ooh, new demon. Okay, I'll look forward to it. Oh, Jesus. Right after the stuff from the old. Oh, and I died. <laughs> First death of the stream. That's not very good, is it? Let's go ahead and get back in there. Because I ain't letting no demons get away with killing this guy. This dumbass. That, and I still got them, right? Like, I don't, Yeah, I don't need to go... Why can I see everything now? I feel like I shouldn't be able to see everything. That, is that broken? Or is that just legit how it should be? I feel like that's broken. I don't know why. Um, s sir. I, why do I have no ammo? I had ammo before going down here. Why did I... Oh crap, why did I come around? Me? Oh, I should have done that. I should have saved him. I could have... Oh no, I'm going into this with just a bazooka. There you go. Oh, okay, he's dead. Give me some ammo. And give me some ammo. Oh, it's an upgrade. That's fair. Okay. I did not realize I got... Hello, room. Thank you. Boy, this shows a beautiful room. Now go rest well, soldier. Am I going down? Is there... Oh, wait. Map bonus. Map bonus. Uh, hello? Demons, I need to fight you. Oh fuck. Arkval is a super heavy demon that can summon buff demons. Deal enough damage before the Arkval summons summoning to falter it. And cancel the summons. Where? Alright, what the what the fuck is this? What the fuck? Ratsu. Okay, where is the new guy? New guy! That's not the new guy. Oh fuck you. Oh crap, I'm stuck. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh Jesus. Jesus Christ, please help me. Holy crap. That is that is a lot of things. <laughs> that is a lot of things he says as he explodes. You know the worst part I just realized? One second, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pause this quickly. So I will admit. I g I've gotten a bit fucked over here a little bit by a mistake of mine, and I'll fully admit to it. Um, so it seems that after using my phone today and putting it on charge, the wire wasn't plugged in correctly, and it didn't, you know, charge. So, sadly, I started this with 60%. I'm currently on 5%. This fight is definitely going to be way longer than 10 minutes. 
So by fault of my own, I fucked over my own stream. So yeah. Overall, not the best stream. But I will say, the game's been fun. You guys have been great in chat. And honestly, I, I couldn't say I'd, I'd be happy with anything. All I'm gonna, the, other, the only other thing I'm gonna say, look forward to the end of this month. Because by then, I'm gonna have affiliate and I'm gonna set some shit up. So when we get to the end of this month, I'm not gonna say when in this month, because I'm not telling you what my fucking birthday is, but I am going to be 18, and we're gonna have affiliate, and you can wait to see what surprises await with that. So everyone, have a good one. I hope you have the great rest of your day. Goodbye!